Aloha all, Jackie here. Thanks for joining me today in creating a card using Christmas to Remember Cling Stamp Set. And uh, the seasonal labels dies. We use this one and the biggest one here. Using Evening Evergreen as our card basis, we're going to make two cards. They're cut at five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. We got designer series paper here from the Painted Christmas designer series paper pack. Here we go. And uh, this here, two pieces cut at four by five and a quarter. These are half inch by four inches for the inside of the card and this is the inside of the card this one here is a cut four by five and a quarter and then these are the die cuts that i cut out this is real red and uh, basic white we can go ahead and get started with our evening evergreen it's actually the only color we're not using memento we're using evening evergreen that's the only color we're actually using um, today for this card and i'm just gonna put merry christmas at the top i just ordered me a um refill i don't know if you can see that but i need to refill uh the ink in the pad and then we can go ahead and put this on before i forget you know me forget to put it on going to the edge of the card it's actually the inside of the card. And then this here, I'm gonna stamp it this way. And it says, may this be a Christmas to remember and cherish. I'm uh, kind of stamping on the edges because I do know that I need more ink in there in that pad. Awesome, love it. And then let's burnish our card base. And then taking uh, these layers, putting on the top, centering. And then let's put the inside. Centering. And then I'll center these onto this. It's 
like that. Then I have this sparkly ribbon. And I was thinking of perhaps just running it to behind here like this. What do you think? Can you see that? Should I make a bow? Let me see how thick it'll be. Let's try it, getting my paper snaps. I'll do one more. It's a loose bow. I'm not even making it tight or anything. Just a loose one. Yeah, and then I'll use a glue dot. And I'll actually put it in the back here like that. Uh-huh. Hey, you won't see the knot area. And then I'll get some Stampin' Dimensionals. You gotta have Stampin' Dimensionals, right? Putting quite a few on there because of the bow, just so it's held there. Take off the backing. Center on the card. Pushing it down. Yeah, we did this card in workshop and one of my lady friends did that. She did a bowl and it looked pretty cool. There we go. Cut them all in. Okay, and then I'm going to get some rhinestones, you guys. You know that. Some rhinestone. Now grabbing my take your pick tool. Oh, this one here. Let's put the big uh, rhinestone because that's what I grabbed. Um, I think it looks good with the big one. Just the big one and just one top, one bottom. What do you think, guys? There we have it guys. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks again for joining me today to order Stampin' Up! products. Please visit my online store. The website is linked in the description of this video. Don't forget to like this video by giving it a thumbs up and subscribing. Come back again soon. Bye!